Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. My name is Jesper and in today's video I want to well take you <laughs> on my journey towards my 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 Eurorack goals and I've stated this before. I started Eurorack because I want to be able to create electropunk. I want to be able to create a a nice drony black metal kind of ambient and I want to play with cables i uh, want to learn as much as i can uh, which is probably the reason why most of us are doing this right so one of my things that i've been really focused on is to create the best kind of well let's call it the um the punk guitar sound so i've been playing with that for quite some time now and i think i've got it so what i want to do is i want to repatch uh, from scratch from where I was and then see how much of the actual sound we can resemble of course so it all started with the Befuckle Lich and the drone box patch that you can find on there so one of the things I did is I actually said well let's grab a nice drone from the graphic VCO and put that in there and then connect the drone to there here you go so what you can then do is you can go through that and you already hear something that sounds very much like strings being well being 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 hit right so how about we then see if we control that so I'm using the the hermit I'm grabbing that. And I believe that's a pretty good impression of a punk guitar sound, right? So one thing we might want to do is we might want to use a low pass filter for that. So I'm just going to grab that from the Black Jewel VCF. Add some resonance and we already get this overdriven sound, right? So I truly believe that this is as close as you can get right now. But then you need, need a bit more, of course. So one thing you can then do is you can grab the Tip Top Audio 1 for a bass drum. So let's do that. So we can grab some cables and the first thing we need to do is I'm just gonna create a track here, track four, and we're gonna randomize that, but I'm gonna change the parameters a bit. So I'm just gonna say I want to do this in a quarter note. Here we go and generate so now we have a bit too much so we can just turn these off and what we then do is we grab four connect that to the gate and we can grab the output from that and connect that as well Ooh. but in my honest opinion I think that this is a bit too much for punk but I would actually like to have an envelope to shorten this and make it a bit more snappy but I don't have an envelope so I'm going to use the Gemini's path for that so we're going to grab that grab the output here we go So that's much snappier, right? So that's something that we can work with. Then we're going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to use the Ona in combination with the Z2040 to create something that resembles a snare drum. So I'm going to grab track number five. And I'm going to 
randomize the parameters. There we go. I'm going to grab the gate from there. Put it in the VC game. Grab the saw. connect this to the fourth channel on my mixer and we can then of course play with that sound a bit and we can make it a bit more snappy we can just uh, lower the uh, the frequency there and the other thing we can of course do if we really want to make it a bit more punk have all of these options available to us but I thought this is part of my journey I wanted you guys and gals to be a part of that so I would say well thanks for joining me hope you enjoyed this hope you enjoyed the enjoyed this music as well let me know give me a thumbs up thumbs down give me some comments below and let me know what you think I love it I would say stay safe stay healthy and talk to you next time cheers <laughs>